Circuses like this have entertained families across the country for generations. But whilst the Big Top and Acrobat still remain, performing animals have become increasingly rare. A new bill put forward by the Welsh Assembly hopes to ban wild animals travelling for good. The RSPCA Cymru have campaigned on the issue for years. So the transient nature of a, of a travelling circus is, is really inappropriate for wild animals. It can have a big consequence on their welfare and it's not the sort of conditions that we or people across Wales want to see them living in. So this bill is, is a really important step in the right direction to get this practice, uh, this outdated practice banned here in Wales. This circus doesn't have animal performers. In fact, there are only two which still tour the UK. Neither would agree to be on film. The new bill would ban wild animals from performing in travelling circuses anywhere in Wales. But this does not include domestic creatures like horses. Alison Woods has worked in the circus community for over 30 years. She thinks shows should use only human performances. I think they should be moving to celebrating human, physical, emotional, artistic potential and possibility. Uh, for me, circus is a celebration of humanity. Similar bans already exist in Scotland and the Republic of Ireland. The bill was introduced here in Wales last year. The public consultation found that 97% supported a potential ban. Assembly member Dr Hevin David thinks the practice is outdated. Well, we call them wild animals because they belong in the wild, uh, not in circuses, not travelling around the country, uh, on the road, uh, in, on parade in front of the public. Uh, wild animals are not necessary and there are lots of circuses in the UK that travel without wild animals and they're very entertaining, uh, fantastic circuses. The draft bill defines a wild animal as any creature not native to the UK. That would include these African lions and Bengal tiger who are all ex-performers. Thomas Chipperfield is the eighth generation of animal trainers in his famous circus family. He thinks the potential ban is unfair. I do genuinely think it, uh, I think it will create a slippery slope effect for how other people work with animals in other sectors because circus community in the UK, I consider myself amongst that community, have done everything that they can to satisfy the relevant authorities to the legitimacy of our work and this position has been taken against us anyway. Assembly members first debated the bill last month. It must now wait to be scrutinised by the Finance Committee. If all goes well, it should be passed into law next year. Joe Pugh CGS News.